I don't know how many stories the big bad wolf is in. I'm harboring a pig. Don't come in. At least I was. I don't know if I, I still am. Nightjar. Thank you for the 22 months. Who the heck is here now? Nightjar. Look through the peephole. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Oh my god, her dress thing has Snow. snowflakes on it. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. Uh -oh. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> Yeah. Who's this nerd? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Love this game, one of the best telltales, but I do have a soft spot for telltale games. <gasps> Chapter 2 completed? Um, hello? What the frick? Is there gonna be a little mouse in there? I hope it's a mouse, but I hope he's alive. I hope it's a living mouse. This is my first time, Nightjar. I think, I think it is my first Telltale game. Is it a mouse? Oh, Christ! No. You knew this girl? <laughs> Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I don't know if I you can come back I from that. Everyone in Town. A working she girl. How come everyone a knows who girl. she is? A working girl? I don't... I mean... I'm a working... Oh. <laughs> She's got, like, a receipt in her mouth. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. I don't think no. he was a woodsman, I think it was think her he... pimp. I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just... Oh my God. Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Thank you, PBRB Dowdy, for around. subscribing to Prime. Thank don't you. Don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Thank you. Or based on the Fables graphic novels. I see. Goodness. Let's see what's in her mouth. What is? Take it. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. The hmm. ring was weird. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? God, what did this to her? Ew. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. I don't know if she will be dead forever or not, but they did say murder, so I assume yes. 
If you get your head cut off, it is murder. In this video game. <laughs> I know in I'm real sorry. life that's a thing. <laughs> it's so surreal. Do you, Labodo? <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. All right. Can I run? Why does the mouse do that if I'm walking? Am I supposed to walk? Am I supposed to? I'm WASDing. What's around here? Nothing? I can't go that way yet? Nothing in the grass? Pip says, shaking my head, why aren't they calling in CSI? Pip, um, literally they called in the K9 unit. Bazinga! There's blood on the floor. There was blood, blood on blood. the floor. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. <gasps> There's blood on the blood on the. What's this? <gasps> no signs that it's been here long. What the fuck is that? Scrap of fabric. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Okay. The bin? What's on the bin? Just some loose trash. However, bum bum bum. Or blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Taste it to blood type it. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. So someone hopped the fence and got bloodified. But we don't know if that was the same person that... Hello? Nobody there. Hello, Mom MCG. Thanks for the 14 months. Look, you got the Penelope alert. Cute. Alright, let's show her this fabric, I guess. Yeah, the graphics are cool. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books, I'm sure. The business office. Do you have any idea what's going on? It's a message. How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get Girl, it's not a message for time, you. Just what about this makes you think that? The placement. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I don't think there's normal investigations, Pip. Hi, Falco. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need to. I guess to. it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Did he say that because he's the big bad wolf and he does not hold his breath because he huffs and he puffs? Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. 
<laughs> Do you think if we go see the mayor, he'll be naked? Has the emperor's new clothes? An emperor's like a mayor. Bro, what do you fucking want? What are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I'm I cutting the line. I'm taking cuts? Is that supposed to be funny? Bro, I want to know you which see creature here you are. Laughing, sheriff. Bro. Fucker. Oh my god, he called me a fucker. This man looking evil as hell. This to me, Miss Snow, the one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do I you hate when people me? point in yes, other people's faces. Of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Can I just punch this I man in the face? I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around no here. No one to this blame. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things, Sheriff? You are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Ichabod Crane looking ass. Something. Are there any leads? Bro, you want to know who else gets Anything. headless? Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, Pimp. I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well... This is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. Oh my god, you bro. You need to handle on this situation quickly and quietly. Who makes your glasses, dude? Because that's a custom fit if, if I've ever seen us. one. <gasps> Snow. Yes? Cinemogus. Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. This or we'll find sucks. someone who can. Do it yourself. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> Move up my massage. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well... Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. He gets a morning massage? Gets a massage this early. Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Maybe Pip doesn't want to Google it because spoilers. Oh my god, a minky with alcohol! Buffkin! Chill out, bro! Oh, hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Minky? How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Minky? Fuck off! <laughs> Not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Buffkin. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds How are we going to look her up? In the up? meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White. I'm just oh, it's my turn. T 
talk to the mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. I sleepy cool. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Mirror, Your mirror. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um... Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Um, I don't know I her don't name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Buffkin. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Bro, you're not even rhyming all the time. Monkey. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Monkey. Monkey. All right. Money, fabric, ring. Oh, why don't we look at this? How do I... Ring. Ring. Space? No. Ring. I guess maybe I can show it to someone. What's this thing? Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Rub the lamp? Oh, look at it. It's huge. Jeans look crazy. Worth a try. Nothing, mate. Take the tarot cards. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. It's got a wolf on it. Next one. The tower. And swords. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Why'd I decide to take that one? What's this? We'll start with these. Any oh. information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Bro. Oh my god. Me. Huh. Me. And him. The woodsman. Yep. And his axe. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Said about that, the better. Beauty in happier days. And <laughs> look at the pinkies. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Who the fuck are these people? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Oh. Could be her father or husband. Interesting. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, 
will have her name. Let me keep looking at this book, though. <gasps> Look at this little minion. Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. There's Toad. Nice hat. Nice hat. Get roasted. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Thanks, West Watches, for the 32 months. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm a little sus that this guy is all about getting decapitated and then the person we're looking for decapitated. Didn't make it out. Alright. Can we... What have we got? Ad Patrius Yggdrasil Nilheim What's this? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Monkey. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad. Okay. He probably wrote this in himself. We've got shoes. This person. Adaria difficultere fact sit hominum praetaria notum est tarpitado populum verto notum of our I don't know pop like some kind of popular clothing P verto. What's this horse say? What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? My magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. <laughs> Bricklebit. Say it to him. Say it to him. What's this one? So this says Elvish. I don't think that's Elvish. What's I think it's just Latin. Yes. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. What's this one? We ain't got anything else. What's that? Besides when we go to the it right. Reads, Mark of the house of the frog prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Oh, that looks like it. Cum Cotis Donkis Skin Credular Anulo Es Oh fuck Princip Invent Inventis et Adfiamante. What else are on oh that's the last page. Lamau This is the one. Where is this symbol? Cum from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? I'll go look it up. Alenaira. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to go by the name fake. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Buffkin. The story of Let him do it. Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in Bro, the Bro, I'd be like, you better marry After the ugliest search, bitch you can find. That the only woman oh in the land God. that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. Is this incest? She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. 
Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Not the incest. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Interesting. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. <laughs> was Mongus married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? We have to notify no, him. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Girl, you're not the deputy of police. Why are you asking me all these questions? 